there, EA Tischler here with New Horizons Golf. I want to talk to you today about the angle that's created between the left arm and the shaft during the downswing. A lot of times we see a video of either Sergio Garcia or Hogan and it's talked about how much of a great you know, lag angle that they create during the downswing. What we need to understand when we're looking at that angle is that you really have to view it from a 90 degree angle to the plane if you really want to see how much that angle is changing or not in the golf swing. The reason is, is as soon if we create an angle here, and if I take that and I start flattening this plane, you can see that that angle appears to be changing. Really all I'm doing here is I'm just rotating my form in one direction or another, and the angle is staying exactly the same. But as I flatten this plane, it looks like that angle is getting closer and closer to my left arm. As a matter of fact, right here, it's dead behind my left arm. Does that mean that it's flat on my left arm? Well, of course not. So, you know, just because the hands drop and the, the, the arm rotates as we come down, that doesn't actually mean that they're creating more angle in the downswing that they had at the top. Now, of course, in many cases, it is true that we get up to the top and there's less angle and they create a little bit more angle. But if it looks like they're continuing to create more and more angle as they come down, a lot of that is just the effect, again, of this plane flattening, you know, during the downswing, and instead of it really being that they're creating a lot more angle. In this video, there was a discussion of the angle that Sergio creates at the top of the backswing, then how much more of an angle he creates in the transition. The question is, is this an illusion, or does he really create that much more angle? Certainly, you create some additional angle in the transition, but much of it is an illusion. As the swing continues, we can see by delivery that he's lost some of that angle. And though he's lost a little bit, I'm sure it's closer to where it was in the transition that we, than we can see from the angle that the camera is viewing the swing. The illusion of what's happening between the left arm and the shaft during the, the transition and the downswing. We know that we often look at those angles and we're looking to see that, you know, do we really get a greater lag angle coming down in, in the downswing. The one thing we need to realize about looking at this angle is that you really have to look at that angle at a 90 degree angle to the plane. So right now, the, my, my left arm and the shaft are creating a vertical plane. So we can really see how much of an angle that I can create between my left arm and the shaft here. Now, if I take this angle right here, and I go ahead and rotate my forearm so that it actually the plane gets flatter you notice that it looks like I'm creating more of a lag angle again if I flatten it a little bit more it's going to look like I'm creating more of an angle so when the golfer goes up to the top if they drop their hands and they flatten that plane angle coming down it's going to look like they actually created more of a lag angle than they did now of course in some instances we go up to the top of the backswing and there is a little bit more of an angle created right there in the transition. But if that plane continues to drop and flatten, and it looks like they're creating more of an angle, a lot of times that's more of an illusion. We'd really need a camera up above, you know, being able to video down at a 90 degree angle to that plane to really see what that true lag angle is. We can see again from the, the down the line view, that again, if I create this vertical plane, and I go ahead and create more, you know, of a lag angle here, now if I go ahead and I just drop this, flatten this out, that angle is actually staying the same. Even if I drop my arms, the angle staying the same. Instead of it really kind of grit getting way up here where a lot of times on video, because of the illusion of the angle, it looks like it's creating more of an angle than it does. So you want to be cautious of understanding exactly where that angle is. I think a lot of golfers try to create more of that angle than they can really do because they see it in players like Sergio Garcia or Ben Hogan.